Good morning chaps, I'm a little bleary eyed somewhat but it's Sunday and I'm going to go into work I'm hoping to put some more legs and some more tanks just to get us a step closer to completion this week and maybe some other fittings depending on the time but the weather's dropped again and we are white over so this will make for a romantic drive through the snow time lapsey start of the video to work kind of thing let's go Had a quick clean up again on the drive took the snow to one side not too bad though a bit of sand for grippage on the floor and the first thing I'm going to do today is put that damn kettle on and make myself a nice hot coffee mainly just to hold and uh, kind of warm my fingers up the empire of noodle I've also got a massive spoon of honey in here as well. With cold weather, I need to up the antibody content of my, uh, what am I about? Right, so yeah, I've shifted everything to one side, ready to bring in the second tank. Uh, we did one the other day, the HLT. Now we're gonna bring in the boil kettle, get the three legs on, which are down, and uh, once they're on, I might, Put the legs on the other two fermenters if I have the time, or I might put the fittings on the boil kettle, etc. Yeah, I might do that, but that means charging up the compressor and getting the plasma torch out, which I'm not sure I want to do today. Whereas the legs are all cut, ready to go, just a day of welding. And the welding keeps the metal warm and also keeps my hands warm, which is a good thing. Pulled her out and uh, stood her up next to 
the HLT and the mash tun so we can get a good look at uh, what she's going to look like in situ and where any pipe work needs to go. The next thing I want to be doing after I've put the last weld boss on the HLT there is doing the outlets for pipe work. We've got the main outlet at the bottom obviously that's a fully draining outlet. We're going to want another one on there to allow the product out and recirculate the product and then we're going to want a, an entry port in the top somewhere to put all of the uh, recirculated work back in or to feed it from the mash tun when we're mashing. So I've just got to picture it in my mind's eye what I want and where I want it. So here are the tri-clamp fittings I've just installed. You can see if we undo the thumb screw on that. It actually comes off nice and easily. You can see into the tank and you can also see the nice neat welding I've done all the way around. Yes I know it's coming on. So yeah, two of them, and if that's not enough heat to get this up, it should boil in 77 minutes from the calculator I've got on the process heating website. Any uh, any slower than that, and I'll just put another weld boss there. And we'll have three elements in it. We've definitely got the height, so I only need to sort of get 100 litres in there before I can switch those elements on and start to get the whole tank heating up. Right, I've got the last one on there. That looks pretty good. I just need to pick up some uh, gaskets for this. I thought I had some. Turns out they're half an inch too big. They must have been three and a half inch last time I had these. Uh, so I need some three inch gaskets for this. And then I can close these ends off prior to getting the elements and leak test them. Now I've got some more holes in. I've got to find a way to block this, of course, before I leak test anything. But for a Sunday, I'm quite chuffed. I've got a fair bit done, more than I thought I would do. Uh, I don't have to put the legs on the other two fermenters yet. I think I'd, I'd like to do it, uh, but I'd rather get these tanks up and running first. And then of course install the cooling jackets on them as well. But, you know, there's still lots to do, lots to do before I'm going to be brewing on this kit. Anyway, I'm finished for a Sunday folks, I'm going to go home, it's absolutely freezing outside. I'm going to relax with some nice grub and uh, maybe a beer or two. So I'll see you tomorrow.